that noise? Yeah, there's uh, a floor cleaning going on upstairs and there's this very <laughs> intrusive noise. So, that's problematic. Wow, and there's honking horns. That's problematic for filming. I also am a home voiceover talent and um, I thought it might be fun, or actually it was my husband's idea, to test the sound level, the decibel level, uh, right now with this noise happening, as well as in my home studio to see how well it blocks out the noise, and then do a comparison with a professional studio at his studio. So that's what we're gonna do today. So if that sounds interesting, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. So if you want to do this, what you need to do is get yourself a sound meter or a decibel meter. And if you have a smartphone, you potentially have a sound meter. So I just downloaded an app, I think called Sound Meter, and we're going to see how loud, how many decibels this noise is. Okay, so it seems to be measuring in around 45 to 46 decibels. So I'm standing right here by my open patio door and the pipe is right there. The van is right below my balcony here. So now I'm going to shut the glass door to illustrate how well, um, you know, a hard pane of glass, a hard surface will block out sound. So let's see what that does. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, when I'm talking, the decibels go up. But as you can see, when I'm not talking, it has reduced that sound to around uh, 30 decibels. So let me just shut up for a second. So yeah, even though we're so around like 20, 26 decibels. Okay, so now I'm gonna move away from the glass door, go into my bedroom, which is where my closet and my home studio is, and then I'm gonna measure the decibels again uh, with the door open and then with the door shut. So let's go. All right, so the lighting is quite dim in here. This is my closet home studio, so there's all my clothes, but you can also see some of the uh, acoustic treatment back here. And then right directly in front of my setup, is you know a bunch of padding but what we did was we recycled an old Tempur-Pedic mattress topper and so that's serving as additional acoustic treatment um you know and then I have some random side I've got some corner go there you can see it just barely so corners are very important in treating um, a room acoustically I've got my twisted wave open just to see how much that noise is being picked up. So let me go ahead and test uh, what the decibel level is. So I'm going to stop talking. Okay, now I'm going to shut the door of my closet and see. Okay, so. All right, so that's pretty good. I do get some good silence in here. It is pretty quiet. I look like a vampire right now, Jesus. I'm gonna go ahead and test it just to see if I can hear it. All right, so that's pretty good. It actually is pretty quiet, um, more so than I was expecting considering the apartment directly upstairs for me is steam cleaning their carpets. That's what that noise is. That said, I thought I would maybe take a trip to my husband's studio and go visit him and compare things with uh, the same decibel reader just to see what, yeah, what that reading is. Okay, so now I'm in Studio B at Voice Tracks West, my husband's studio. Okay, so now I'm about to shut this very, very thick, heavily padded door. And now I'm gonna shut the double door here. Click, okay. So these things are super thick. You can see this is like a frame with some foam inside and the other door as well has um, a similar thing going on. And here's the thing about a sound studio that I think 
or a recording studio that people don't quite realize. Many people, I think, especially newer um, home studio uh, enthusiasts or newer voiceover talent will refer to this stuff uh, and that acoustic foam up there as sound proofing. Now it's, um, it's not entirely accurate. I've only learned this through my husband, who is a, uh, an engineer who went to engineering school. All of that is sound treatment. So that is meant to minimize the amount of reflection of sound bouncing off hard surfaces within the actual room itself. So you have a hard surface. You have this glass pane that looks out into the control room, typically in a professional recording booth. But, um, and you'll notice too, I don't know if you can see it, that it's very, very thick. So there's two panes of glass. So there's two big panes of glass with some air in between. And that is what actually helps to make it very soundproof. Also, if you look at recording studios, they are rooms built within rooms. So you're basically building a room inside of a room that includes the floor. So typically when you step into a recording booth, you may notice a lot of the times that you, uh, you kind of step up into it because a floor and a ceiling and everything has been built inside of a room and that is what is actually going to make it soundproof. Also really tight seals um, and anywhere that the sound could come in, that's actually what's causing it to be soundproof. All of the padding, that's minimizing and keeping the room dead. So with voiceover, you really, really want a dead room. Whereas with music, you may want a little tiny bit of reflection or a little bit of echo. So they are two different beasts. So now I'm going to stop talking and measure this room and see how quiet it is. Whew, it's really hard to <laughs> hold my breath and not move because even yeah, even just me breathing and um, moving around slightly is drastically changing the decibels. But I hope it sort of illustrates, um, you know, how how uh, different it is when you are, you know, in an enclosed space. The good news is my home studio actually gets a pretty good sound reading, so it is pretty well contained since it it is an inside wall inside of our bedroom. It's in a part of the building that isn't especially noisy. And fortunately in a residential neighborhood that isn't especially noisy. So it's nice to know that the, the noise floor and the noise level of my home studio is, I'd say kind of on par with uh, my husband's studio here, which is great, which is in a very, very loud sort of urban area right in the center of Studio City. So there's, uh, sort of a lot more concerns. There's a gym downstairs, which is quite noisy. So there's a lot more that has to be done to truly make it soundproof. But if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on topics like this, hit that subscribe button, which should be here. And thanks for watching. Bye.